talk in my van yeah. <laughs> like it's just so weird but you know it seems to be was, working for you though it's uh, been it's been good so far yeah with uh the more people i get on the more people realize they're like okay he isn't gonna he's not a serial killer or, yeah. or something like or like also, the more people are like oh it'd be like a fun thing to do also it'd be like the wor- i'd be the worst serial killer it's like oh, okay well the last thing that they got was from a dude on instagram saying yeah i'm in the target parking lot yeah <laughs> it's just like i would immediately be in jail so um, oh, i'm getting killed tonight aren't yeah. I? so so I, I just realized that this is actually if anything this is more like a podcast a pyramid scheme yeah because you used sean to get to me and obviously you're already thinking to yourself hey would you mind like fucking hitting up chris chan or dale decker or john hill or andy schrock or oh you're going to ohio <laughs> you're going to fucking youtube central hold, <laughs> hold on that's what you're. That's what you're here for. That's what you want. You you Hold want that. the okay from Shrock. Hold that. What do you got up there? Is it Andy's head? <laughs> it's his red shirt. <laughs> it's just, just one red shirt. Hold on. Where is it? Is this it? What is this? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Does he? He has a book. You didn't know he has a book? No, I didn't know he has a book. Dude, he was literally the first name I put down on the interview sheet to get Andy Schrock. Because he's he fucking won, dude. He, he won. He beat skateboarding. He did beat sure. skateboarding. I've been watching him since I was thirteen. Yeah, like he I, won. I, I remember seeing an old video when I was like, I, he got recommended to me when yeah. I was watching skate videos, and he was like working at um, Olive Garden. Yeah. Which I actually yeah. happened to eat today. What a weird full circle day. And uh, I remember being like, this cringy cocksucker. Um, but then, it, it, like, th- the whole idea, though, is he's not marketing towards me. He's marketing to whoever wants to watch what he does. Yeah. And his market happens to be fucking huge. People love Andy Schrock. Dude, he fucking won. Dude, like, and he he's the nicest won. human being I ever. I bet he is. He seems awesome. Yeah. Anyone who hates Andy Schrock should literally fucking uh, die in a fire. Yes, yeah. he is the sweetest fucking rat. And he, here's the other thing, he is, he, dude. You have no idea on how successful that motherfucker is. And he still skates all the fucking time. Yeah. He takes care of everyone that rides for him, much more so than any skate company I've ever fucking heard of. He looks out for everyone. He's like he, d- so many people are tugging at that guy's pant, like hey hey hey, and he tries to answer all of them. It's fucking crazy, dude. He, I mean, just like. It's it's wild to me that um, the Nine Club wouldn't even have him on or whatever. Like they not that they wanted to, but like yeah, I think they why didn't, they hit him up. They won him one. Okay, good because he did like dude. He fucking won. Yeah. He won. Yeah. He's got the got. Uh, isn't it the highest selling skateboard company or yeah. something? Like yeah, he's they like murder, he's they, they number crushed, one. Dude, right? Their numbers are fucking insane. Like he fucking figured it out, and yeah. like people are like too core to fucking respect it and it's like i respect the fuck out of those dudes i respect the shit out of them i'm like it's so cool and it's they have a story now though what it's coming around now though they used to it's have andy anderson. coming around yeah. yeah andy anderson used to be blacklisted from thrasher and he just had a part on thrasher he was blacklisted yeah how do you know wait really yeah yeah they told fucking i'm not gonna get into politics yes he was not allowed to be in thrasher. He wore a helmet i don't know because they thought he was corny or something like that dude he's uh, like one of the most talented uh, skateboarders of our generation yeah right now three block and reviver blacklisted from thrasher i don't fucking care yeah uh, it's like but why like uh, well there's thrasher there's, oh, is a youtube yeah the gatekeeping company. is like a big part of skateboarding and like i like if you've watched my fucking videos i gatekeep the shit out of them but it's like all satirical and like goofy. Yeah. like as long as you don't take that shit to heart like hate whatever scared you want you can hate youtubers that's fucking fine long as you don't like have like a passion for your hatred or it's like really built in this like negative like fuck this guy like if you can't respect someone for doing what they do like then fuck off because it's like okay what do you do to put food on your table? Do you go to work and you labor and you sweat for someone else to make more money off of your labor than you're making? And you're going to like talk shit about this person who's making all of their own money. There's no middleman. They literally get a hundred percent of their efforts yeah. profit. It, like you're that that's literally just you're bitter. That's yeah. all that is. That's I mean, yeah, it, no I would rather, selling out only cashing in. I know I, I would rather be like considered a kook than uh be a professional skateboarder that, that is also a barista yeah you know what i mean like, well, and that's so many of them yeah and it's like you're murdering yourself for what like it's they're, like you're coming could, around i mean yeah it you makes sense. i mean jaws has a youtube channel but well, like i mean a lot of the people i've had leo romero in my videos yeah. i've had dan once on in my videos jo- chris jocelyn 
is a like a avid like watcher of my videos. He sends me uh, Instagram DMs of him watching my videos all the time. He's posted him watching my videos on his story. Like yeah. Chris Jocelyn, like lo- Chris Jocelyn's about to start one. Frankie Villani has one. Uh, Dude, Ryan Sheckler, uh, Andy Anderson's Ryan Sheckler's favorite skateboarder. Andy Anderson's Ryan Sheckler's favorite skateboarder. Yeah. So by default, I am also Ryan Sheckler. I am Ryan Sheckler's favorite skateboarder's favorite skateboarder. That's wow. a that's a fucking title right there. That is, dude. You are, you're just like winning right dude, now. I'm yeah, interviewing so the tallest man alive, who's also Ryan Sheckler's favorite skateboarder. Yeah, that's true. That yeah. is. Uh, <laughs> yep. And wow. People still get me confused for Dale Decker. Yeah, no. I I was thinking about <laughs> when we're I was like this. We're just like a boring fucking white guy. Of course, we get we're both balding. Like, yeah. Uh, I have shitty teeth. That's the only difference. <laughs> <laughs> the self-deprecating humor but when i when i was gonna introduce you i was <laughs> i was gonna introduce you as like i'm here with dale oh, shit uh um, like dan decker which one are you no yeah. but i didn't obviously. we're all the same yeah or, I mean, you're john hill right yeah yeah shit fucking john dude yeah i remember when john first did it we, all of us anyone who knew him to any capacity was just like don't do it <laughs> and now we're all just like yeah you fucking smart yeah. Yeah, way to go yeah yeah he he definitely uh laid some groundwork for a lot of us to fucking he's like in a million now i think followers no he's shy of it yeah he's shy of it chris chan's over a million yeah. chris chan's fucking I, out of all the youtubers out of all of them that are like successful in my eyes he's the one who remained the most true yes. like he's like an absolute skateboarder nothing he's ever done seems unauthentic or too like clicky like i'm just trying to get attention like he is one of my favorite YouTube. I don't watch his videos. Really? Yeah, I don't watch anyone's videos. But he is my favorite. Not YouTuber. even mine. What? Oh, I love the your fuck, videos, dude. 